Dear Grade 12 students, welcome to English 312, Unit 4, Lesson 1. Before I proceed further, I would request you to please bring your textbook, your notebook or a paper, your pen, pencil and a dictionary because you might need to refer to it. The topic that we will be tackling today is describing places. Learning objectives, so the objectives that we will be covering by the end of this lesson, you should have identified the layout and structure of a descriptive paragraph, located specific information related to describing places, written a paragraph describing places. When someone tells you to describe a place, how do you usually describe it? And what are the things that you take them into consideration and what do you tell the other person? I'll give you 30 minutes to try to think and just note down the important points that you think from your perspective are important to tell the other person. Okay, so let's look how do we usually describe a place. A description of a place may answer some of these questions. Usually while describing a place, we have to answer these set of questions. Where is the place located? How big or small it is? Is it? How does the place make you feel? What things you can see there? Usually when you'll tell your friend to go to a certain place, these are the things that you mainly take into consideration. Now, when describing a place, and if we want to answer this question, we usually use adjectives and prepositions. How? Adjectives are words that tells us how things look, feel, taste, sound, or smell. Adjectives also describe how we feel about something. For example, when we will talk about this, the shape and the size, we usually say it is a large place or this is a very large place, a small place, tiny, wide, narrow, huge, round, rectangular, and so on. There are many other words that could be used. What about the atmosphere? What do we say? Cozy, comfortable, warm, cool, cold, hot. The feelings, amazed, surprised, happy, excited, so on. The appearance, colorful, beautiful, unforgettable, unattractive. What about the prepositions? Prepositions and phrasal prepositions tells us how a space is organized. So usually when you're going to talk about a certain place, and you describe it, you usually give directions or you tell the person where he or she can find it. So we use directions like in front of, in back of, behind, on top of, on the bottom of, next to, above, below, underneath. To the right of, to the left of, in the middle of, around, between, and so on it goes. We're just keeping here examples. Now, what I want you to do is that I am going to give you two minutes and I want you to read this paragraph. Read this paragraph describing Ted's favorite place in two minutes. Okay, I believe time is up. Let's read it all together. My favorite place to relax is a small cafe down the street from where I live. It is on a small side street. There are three windows and each window has a narrow window box with brightly colored flowers on the right. There are nice tables all around the room. Even though it isn't a huge place, its size makes it very cozy and comfortable. I always like to sit at a tiny table near the front windows. From here, I can look at the amazing artwork on the walls. With a strong cup of coffee and an interesting book, I feel very happy and relaxed in my favorite cafe. What is Ted's favorite place? Write the answers in your notebook or on a piece of paper. I'll give you 30 seconds. For every question I'll present, I'll be giving you 30 seconds. Let's check the answer. Ted's favorite place, here it's mentioned. Okay, the next question, where is it located? 
So here we use the prepositions. Where is it located? It is located down the street from where he lives. It is a small, it is on a small side street. How big or small it is? Again, 30 seconds. Let's check. It is a small cafe. It isn't a huge place. How does the place make him feel? We're talking about feeling. Again, adjectives. We describe the feeling. He feels very happy and relaxed in his favorite cafe. So usually when you're writing a, a description or when you're writing a paragraph describing a certain place or recommending a certain place for your friend, this is how we usually do it. We answer three to four questions in which it mainly talks about adjectives and prepositions. Now similarly, what I want you to do after reading the paragraph, I want you to read it again and now note down the adjectives and the prepositions. Let me remind you, what is the adjectives and what are the prepositions? Adjectives, it tells us how, you how something look, feels, tastes, and it describes someone's feelings. Whereas prepositions, it gives us the directions more or less. Now again, read it for one minute and note the adjectives and prepositions down. I'll give you example. You got one minute to knock them down. Now this paragraph is filled with uh, adjectives and prepositions. That's why I said note some of the adjectives and prepositions. Let's check your answers all together. So these are all the adjectives and the prepositions that are noted in this paragraph. Favorite, colored, narrow, happy, nice, strong, amazing, comfortable, interesting, relaxed, whereas the prepositions down, from, in, on, on the right, and so on. Okay, now, as we can see, we wrote the whole descriptive paragraph describing a certain place by answering this set of questions. So now what I want you to do similarly is that I want you to describe a paragraph, uh, to describe a place that you like using answering these questions. Remember to use the right adjectives and prepositions. These are examples. You can add your own, but remember that I want you now to write a short paragraph describing your favorite place by answering these questions. Note the questions fast on your piece of paper so that we can, you can later on refer to them. I'll give you one minute or two. Okay, let's look at a possible answer. Okay, a possible answer. What I did here is that I had the questions in a color, uh, colored and similarly the same color for every answer. So have a look at it. Read it for one minute and then let's read it all together. Okay, so what I'm expecting you to write, a paragraph that I'm expecting you to write will be more or less the same. So what are the questions that we're tackling? What is your favorite place? Where is, it, where is the place located? How big or small it is? What things can you see there? How does the place make you feel? So. My favorite place is the Tower of Bahrain. It is located down the Seif area in Manama. The place is neither too big nor too small. From there, I can have a lovely view and I feel a sense of openness. Behind it stands the gorgeous Manama uh, skylines of the high buildings. It's the symbol of power and modernity. On the other hand, on the other side, I can see the high plum trees. When I'm there, it's like a journey in the past from the present, keeping an eye on the future. I always feel proud and excited in my favorite place. So I'm expecting more or less a similar paragraph. 
With that, we reached the end of this lesson. Thank you and see you soon.